one day in particular, I kept hearing this same story. It was this big mother who's training down at the Weeder Gym in Birmingham. So the stories got bigger and badder about this guy. So anyway, so we forgot about him for a while. And then I worked at a gym called Muscle Machine. And the owner, Ron Davis, was saying, we've got to get this guy to Muscle Machine somehow. And he got him over. So we was all looking out the window. In he comes. And I'd never seen nothing like it. Even to this day, you know, my hair's standing up on my arm now. It was hard, it was grainy, it was humongous in every department. It was like just a caveman. It was, there was no finesse to his physique. He was a beast. And I thought, my God, this is from our hometown. He created the, the, the heavy duty image of a bodybuilder, which all of the bodybuilders try to emulate, the density, the size, the thickness, the turn bodybuilding into a narcissistic bit, bit vain sport into a barbarian, brutal sport. Yeah. Right to that, you'd get this, like, the Greek statue looking like Frank Zane, and, and then Dorian comes along and he just turns it into a barbarian sport. <laughs> Wherever you are, a little boy will see, I want to be like that, I want to look, I want to scare when I walk into a room, and that's what he created. He set a standard. I mean, he pushed the bodies to the next level. He was a next level guy, blood and guts training, focused on one goal to win and not caring about any glitz and glamour or anything that went with it. Just came and collected his trophy and went home.